Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, if you guys haven't seen by the title, I'm going to be testing out some Pinterest beauty hacks. I have seen videos of other Pinterest beauty hacks. Normally, all they show you is the actual hack. But what I'm going to do is you guys are actually going to get ready with me. I'm going to do this whole look. I'm going to be testing out the beauty hacks while I'm getting ready. And also, if you didn't notice, I did dye my hair. It is darker. It used to be a lot lighter. And yeah, so just keep on watching. We're gonna have to do this really fast because I don't want my camera to die, run out of memory, and I need to do it before my boyfriend gets here. So <laughs> we're in rush. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start out with some moisturizer as always. I should really just skip this part of the video because you guys see this, or you guys know this anyways. Next thing, some primer. And this is just um, the mattifying one from Rock. And I'm going to put that on my nose, around my mouth, and into my forehead. I'm going to go ahead and prime under my eyes. That's the um, e.l.f. under eye primer. Alright, so I'm going to test out the first beauty hack, which is um, red lipstick under your eyes. What I've noticed is that everyone seems to have the problem of it turning pink. And so I want to test this out. You guys might think this is a little weird, but I'm hoping this is going to be a better alternative. It is a like mattifying, dry um, lipstick thing. My only concern is that it's matte, so it's going to dry my under eyes. But that is also why I applied the under eye primer. Let's just kind of test it out. Whoa, I think I'm putting too much. Mm, I don't know, guys. I'm going to try to blend it out a bit. This doesn't seem to be drying yet. It seems to just be just red. This is really intense. So this is supposed to kind of um, correct your under eyes, the purpleness that it has. And then you just put concealer over it. Okay, this is not <laughs> working out. Because I think it's because it is matte that it's like getting into little clumps. Let's add some concealer over. I feel like it's gonna make this pink either way. Let's go very light. Oh, it's turning pink already. I feel like I'm applying more too. I already have a bad feeling about this. Oh, no. There's still some pinkness going on. I'm gonna apply some foundation on first. Hopefully that doesn't ruin my foundation either. Alright, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work. Maybe I do still need to correct over it with this concealer. I'm going to give that a go. The problem with this foundation too is that it's not a high coverage foundation. Can you see this? That is not the color of my foundation. It's starting to look like orange and my foundation looks weird. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I'm going to be back. I'm going to go take this off because I'm not feeling it. So I still have some lipstick going on under here. I couldn't really take it off. But luckily... It didn't stain anything under here. My very first hack, or hack, and it wasn't a hack, it didn't work out. So now I have to moisturize all over again and prime and, oh, great. All right, I'm just gonna do my makeup like normal. So I'm gonna correct with this. I freaking love this brush. I just bought it recently and I'm already really, really obsessed with it. I'm gonna prime my eyelids for the next hack because we are gonna be using some eyeshadow right now. I'm using my Morphe palette, which I have been using non-stop lately. I'm gonna take that white color and just put that all over my lid, just to set that primer. I'm so bad with my eyeshadows because I like stab them and there's so much fallout later. All right, the next hack is gonna be with a spoon which um, you form a cut crease with it. I think I'm gonna go for a cranberry look because then that way I can just like mask this. I'm gonna blend it out with a brownish tone first. So get it, I think, right on your crease and then it just goes above here and then blend. Whoa, whoa, that's so cool. Obviously the spoon isn't the shape of my eye so it's going a little bit higher on the outside but I actually think it looks fine I think I could have gone a little bit higher maybe angled it a bit all right just like that Ooh, okay that definitely helped it brought it down a bit more okay this is already a hack for me because whenever I tried doing like the crease part 
it tends to like the bottom part since the brush is so fluffy it tends to get on my eyelid and I don't like that. I approve. I like this. I think the thing here is that you have to do it to your eye shape. Alright we're just gonna keep doing our eyeshadow now and you'll see what it looks like at the end. I think I'm gonna start keeping a spoon here now because it's definitely needed. I'm gonna make it a little bit warmer and bring it a little bit higher here just to blend out the edges. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep using this spoon and deepen the crease a little bit more with an even darker cranberry color. <laughs> like right there. And put it directly into my crease. It's looking good. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, this. This works. I feel like I'm being a little dramatic, but I'm serious, guys. This works very, very well. This is looking really good. I'm pretty impressed. It also looks really soft, too, because you're blending as you're, like, doing the line. I'm gonna use the next lightest color and just put that over my eyelid here. And as always, you gotta highlight under your brow bone. Now I'm gonna take this fan brush here and dust off any excess or any fallout. Now I do want to get the outer edges. I think I have like three eyeliner kind of hacks that I'm trying out. Um, for this one, it's like the smoky eye, an easy smoky eye, even though I already have eyeshadow going on. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so basically, I think you're supposed to draw a line here from the edge going out and then another line here. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in a bit closer so you can see. Okay, like that. So, a line here, and then you make a line here, kind of like a, a number sign. So above your crease, and then another one in your crease. So there is my little shape, and I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. And I'm just going to use the same brush I was using with the purple. I think it's supposed to be easy enough for you to use like your fingers, but I don't want to mess up the rest of my eyeshadow. <sighs> okay, I feel like these are not necessary. I feel like you just have to do like out in and in. I don't feel like you have to extend it because that's not going to blend out very well. And my eyelid is starting to hurt a bit. As far as smokiness, I'm not going to complain about it, but I, I don't think it's a time saver because you really have to blend it out. I would just stick with eyeshadow or whatever. It's a hack, sure, but for me, no. And now I'm going to go ahead and take this off too. Okay, there we go. Doesn't look the same as it did before, but I did as best I could. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation now. Clean up those edges for my um, eyeshadow also. Everyone thinks I have like a, weird, a really weird um, step process when I do my makeup because I jump back and forth between everything. Okay, hopefully it's not pink anymore. Now I'm going to go back into my other concealer here, which is the Ready Set Gorgeous from CoverGirl, and there we go. I think it looks a lot lighter on camera than it does in person. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this in place, and I'm just going to use this NYC one. I have also heard that um, doing your eyebrows is easier with this because it gives you a better art. Beauty hack number whatever this is. Let's put this to the test. Oh, not bad. Let's turn it a bit. I don't think it's getting as much product onto my eyebrows. I feel like it's just getting all the product from the spoon. So that works, but I think it's just 
better for me to not use it. My eyebrows are already pretty shaped, so I just kind of fill them in nicely. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight under my eyebrows, clean them up a bit. And this is just the um, Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. So it's actually a nude eyeliner, but I'm using it for my eyebrows. And I'm going to blend that out with my fingers. Then set it again with the white eyeshadow. Okay, beauty hack number four. I think it's four, maybe five. I don't know. Um, put eyeliner on the rim of your curler and you're curling and putting eyeliner at the same time. I have noticed that this tends to not work for a lot of people. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up the curler first because I think that's also supposed to hold your curl a little bit better and um, let the eyeliner kind of melt a little bit onto here and it might help it go on a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry that. So I'm just going to line this um, rim here of the curler. I want to get it directly onto the lash line so that it doesn't get everywhere, you know? Press it against and curl. Uh huh. It curled my eyelashes better. It definitely did. They're very, very curled right now. It doesn't look like a straight line. You can't necessarily see it, but it does look very smoky. And I kind of like it because it makes my eyelashes stand out a bit more. How about I compare it? I'm going to curl this one the same as I normally would with a different curler. All right, so this is the one with the eyeliner warmed up curler and this is just regular. I definitely see the difference and I definitely like this side a lot better. If you do want that straight line, this is probably not it for you. As far as curling and um, the kind of smokiness it gives you, I do really like it. I wonder if it would work with liquid eyeliner. I'm just gonna experiment here. That's what it looks like. I do feel like I would have to be a little bit more careful with this one because of the lining. Oh God. I am really scared. Eh, about the same result. I think it dried up too fast, especially because the curler was warm. Maybe try it when the curler isn't warm, but still looks good. So, kind of a hack. Hack for me. My battery is dying. I do have one, two more hacks to do for you guys. So I'm going to let it charge for a bit and finish up the rest of my makeup and just leave out whatever I was gonna do for you guys. So I finished out the rest of my makeup except my lips. Basically all I did was I added some bronzer, blush, um, highlighter, a little bit of eyeliner, and some mascara. Well, that was more than I thought. I used the Lorac Pro Mascara, my new Wet n Wild um, eyeliner, which I actually have really been loving. The Almay Blush, the Rimmel London Bronzer, which I have used in a lot of my videos, and my Cindy Luminous. I know I said I had two hacks left. I actually had three left, but I only have enough time for one because my boyfriend is coming and I need to finish getting ready. So the last one I'm going to do is hair. I'm going to curl my hair, but in a ponytail. So what you're supposed to do is put your hair up in a really high ponytail and curl just pieces in the ponytail and that's supposed to curl like your whole hair. I'm going to do a really high ponytail because I want it close. To the root. Okay, so I'm gonna tie it up here. There we go. Now let's curl some pieces here. This is supposed to save you a lot of time, even though curling my hair really doesn't take me that long. I'm gonna do this piece here. And I want them pretty loose too, so I'm not gonna leave it in for too long. A piece in the front, because this looks super, super straight. Alright, just like that. So I'm doing about four pieces for each half, so eight pieces in total. Hopefully that's good enough. I think my hair is too tangled for this right now. Oh, I have an itch, but I can't put it down. I really have an itch. Ugh. <laughs> now let's do this side here.
There we go. Look, see, it's all nice and curly. Um, all right, let's take it down now. Take it down, fluff it out a bit, and then let it fall. Ooh, okay. Um, I feel like it mostly curled the bottom parts, and I like to curl the top, but I guess that's easily fixed. Just curl some pieces at the top. It's kind of a hack. I think if I wake up late on a school day or something, I would do this because it definitely takes me a little bit longer when I'm under pressure. So this has to be a hack. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys liked it or want me to do even more Pinterest hacks because like I said, I didn't really have time to do all of them, um, then let me know and I could test out a lot more. Give me some suggestions on which ones you think I should test out. Let me know if I did any of them wrong because I probably did like this video comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!